Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video I am going to show you how to install and set up shortcut for this plugin. And basically this is a new plugin for creating e-commerce websites where you can sell your physical products, your digital products, your courses and even you can collect donations. And for the payment you have different options like one-time payment, subscription fee and you can also allow user to pay their desired price for donation or something. So all of these options are available for free. And let's see how we can install and set up this plugin and then we will see how it works. So just log into your WordPress dashboard and then go to plugins, click add new and here search for shortcut. And you will see this plugin WordPress e-commerce for creating fast online stores by shortcut. Just install and activate this. And now plugin has been activated. You will see another menu here, shortcut. So just click on get started. And you will see a welcome message and you can just click on set up my store to connect shortcut with your WordPress. And this will take you to shortcut where you can just sign up for free. Just put your name, your email and a password and click on sign up. So let me quickly pill this. Now you can learn more about shortcut here and you can choose any of these planes. Now the first one is free and this is what we need for an e-commerce website because it have all the features like subscriptions, installments, pay what you want, donations and so on. So you can also go with these plans if you want to and you can also start with the free plan. So let's pick the free one. We will select plan and this will auto detect your store name, your store URL, the default currency, the store language and the time zone and these are coming from the whole face. And if you want you can change these info and then you can click on next tip. For me these are fine so let's go to next step and then you can connect your payment methods like stripe and paypal so let's start by connecting stripe we will just click on connect and this will take you to stripe where you can log in and you can select your account so for this i'll choose this one and we'll click on connect and that's it now this will take you back to shortcut and as you can see stripe is now enabled and you can also connect paypal i already have recorded a video about paypal so i'll put that over here if you want you can also integrate paypal so just click on connect and you can see connect to a paypal account to start accepting payments on shortcut and it's free to connect whether if you have a existing paypal account or you want to create a new one so here you can just write your paypal email then choose your country and click next so I write my email and country and then we'll click next. This will ask you to log in to your PayPal account. So let's log in. Let's translate this page. So we will translate this to English to understand these. Okay, convert your personal account to business, open a new business account. So if for the shortcut you will need to have a PayPal business account. So we can just click on this, then click on next. And then we have to fill up these details. To get a business account so let me just quickly fill this then we'll scroll down and we will click this we'll click this and click accept and describe your business so here you can choose your type of company so here we will choose private and then we will have to write about our company the website is optional and then the name on the paypal credit card statement so let me quickly fill this and that's it we can just close this and thank you for signing up we can back to show card and these tips are just for converting our account to a business account now we have successfully connected stripe and paypal as you can see now we can go to next step and this will generate an api token for your office so you can just copy this and then back to office and now we need to put that api token over here so just paste that and click complete installation and that's it now we have successfully connected shortcut to our office and we are under the shortcut dashboard and we can add buy and card buttons we can customize the form and so on so the first thing you will need is to create a form and then you will have to create a checkout form and that's it so to create a product you can just click on this create a product or you can go to products and click on add new so let's create a product then you can give it a name so i'll just call this basic and we'll click on create and this is our product name and here we can add a price to it so if i click on this you can see i can choose a payment type so here i can choose one time payment i can choose installments and i can also choose subscriptions so let's keep it as one time for now and then i can give it a price like 99 
and you can also give it a compare phrase so you'll write something like this and you can also allow customer to pay what they want and this is what i talked about so so customer can also pay the amount they want you can also enable this and you can set a minimum and maximum price for your products and basically this option is only for the donations so if you want you can allow this so let's turn on this off and we will just create a price now we have created the price let's scroll down you can also choose integration so if i click this you can integrate all these like if you have learned dash courses literal lms body boss and so on you can also assign a world face rule here and you can also and you can also connect your sure members basically this is for membership so i'll discuss this in the coming video so let's close this for now and you can also add a download so if you have a digital you can add your download just click on this and select a file or upload a new media let's close this and this is the summary this is the text and shaping so you can also enable this you can add a product image so let's upload an image we will select this and we'll click choose and now this is our product image and you can also limit for customer purchases so if you enable this then you can select a number and user will only be able to get it one time or the number that you specify here let's turn this off and let's just save our product and that's it we have created a product now we will create a form for this product and then we can sell this product so to create a form you can just go to forms and you can see we have a default checkout form and if you want you can just edit this and you will see its preview like name and email and the summary and purchase if you want to modify this you can click on this like this and you can add more fields and so on you can just click on this plus and you can also add fields and if you want to create a new one you can go back and you can click on add new and you can give it a title like basic as the product name and you can select these templates like this is the default one the simple one two column layout sections a donation form and so on so you can use these templates and you can modify these let's pick the first one for now we'll click next and then we will add a product so we have only one product for now and that is the basic one so i can select that and then we will enable this customer must select one of these options so just select this and here you can enable this and you can create a custom thank you page where user will be redirected after checkout so you can enable this you can paste your page url let's leave this for now and we'll click on create and that's it now this is our product name and email for the payment we have card number this is our product this is for coupon code and that's it let's publish this now we have successfully created the form and we just need to embed this in a page so to embed this you can go back and you can copy its short code so let's copy this and now we can add a new page so go to pages click add new and it's completely compatible with elementor and any other page builder if you want and you can also use your gutenberg let's call this basic page for now and you can also edit this with elementor and you can just put your short code so let's search for short code and we will paste that short code here and we'll publish the page and that's it let's view this page now you can see we have this product and this is link by pay faster so you can also enable and disable this option or you can write your name your email and you can put your card number and this is the product and you can purchase this and that is how show a card work and again you can just go to your dashboard and you can create multiple products like you can sell courses here you can charge user by installments you can also allow them to pay their desired price for donation or something and then you can go to orders you can manage your orders here you can go to coupons and you can add coupons for some discounts you can manage your subscriptions here you can manage your customers here this is for the cart for the form and you can go to settings 
and here you can change the plugin settings like again we have the store details so these are fine you can go to design and branding and here you can change the brand color to match your website you can change the theme like light or dark theme you can remove sure card branding this is for premium user only and you can change all these info you can go to order and scripts and here you can design an order a prefix like something from your store order number counter which is sequential and this is starting from one and you can change these options also you can go to abundant checkout and here you can make changes to its notification like you can turn this on you can turn this on for tracking confirmation you can do settings for notifications and you can put your sender name you reply to email and you can enable these notifications for order confirmation for free order emails refund emails and so on so all of these settings are defined on you that how you want to set up your store i am not going in much detail for these this video was just to show you that how you can install and set up shortcut plugin and how you can sell your products and in the next video we are going to discuss shore members using which we can create a membership website using wallface so stay tuned for that and to learn more about wallface ecommerce and elementor you can visit my channel i have lots of videos about wallface and elementor so hope the video will help you still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next